How do we think about false common knowledge, by which I mean, let's imagine that you and I engage in a public protest and we look around and we see a thousand people around us. We say, look, everybody clearly feels this way, but we're not aware that across town, there's a larger protest with 10,000 people in it. And we have the impression that everyone feels the same way we do about something. I mean, that technically would be common belief rather than common knowledge, but um, you know, different pools of people can have different common beliefs. Uh, and there can also be common misconceptions where prior to the protest, uh, there are cases where people think that everyone else believes something. In fact, everyone can believe that everyone else believes someone something and no one actually believes it. Sometimes called a pluralistic ignorance or a spiral of silence. What's an example of that? Uh, a classic case uh, study of pluralistic ignorance in social psychology was when some so psychologists interviewed um, the guys in a fraternity. And they found that every one of them thought that it was really stupid to drink so much that you pass out, but everyone thought that all the other frat bros uh, thought it was cool. No one actually thought it was cool, but everyone thought that all the others thought it was cool.